Yeah, I'm going to say all praises and honor unto your house, but I show me how it's shy, but I show me how it's shy. And double honor to the apostles and to the elders of Graham's Stone. Shalom to all the brothers them out there pushing this truth in our sincerity. I know in all honesty, you know, um, this is the brother from the James Jamaica camp. Um, Yashamai. I know more do um, a video, you know, on um, Israel attacking Iran because, you know, this all go back to, you know, Bible prophecy, right? And it's all about prophecy, especially in these times that we're living in right now, right? It's a major prophecy over the years, you know, we've been waiting on, you know, we see these moves I make. You now we're very close to the end of the society because we've seen, you know, the things that we put into place right now in order to basically bring forth this destruction to the society, right? And we understand that we know that, you know, before this war kick off, right, um, full-fledged, you know, we have the MOTB of basically become monetary before this war kick off full-fledged, but very close right now, right? Seeing what's taking place right now in the news, we know they're very close, right, to a time of, you know, our deliverance, the time of this destruction of the society. We are hearing on good authority now that Israel is planning to attack Iran in the coming weeks or maybe even the coming days after the country announced internationally that researchers working together with Russia and with China have developed a hypersonic missile system that they say is capable of penetrating all known defense systems. These systems include those of Israel and the United States of America. This information was distributed to international media directly from General Amiri Hijaz, uh, Hajizadeh, the commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Aerospace Unit, less than 24 hours ago, saying that the hypersonic missiles, like their traditional counterparts, can deliver nuclear weapons. They warn that they can fly more than five times the speed of sound. They are completely untouchable. Iran says, by Israeli and American anti-missile capabilities. Open source intelligence information shows that the United States, together with Israel, are moving assets into place. They're doing this to send a message to Iran that will either incapacitate its missile production capabilities or its launching systems or at least render them useless into the foreseeable future. What we may be looking at here one intelligence source is quoted as saying is that Israel may have finally found its red lines crossed by Iran with the admission of this technology and rather than handling the offensive using normal chains of operations Israel is now waiting for the signal to strike either with or without the United States of America so, the so fact right, of so right now source can, continue so right now we can say that we're very close you know to the destruction of the society because as a, you know um this um so called looking white man I mentioned that you know Israel ready for attack Iran with uh, without um or Amer with America. Right with America ready or not. They're ready. Right, basically go at Iran. Which ultimately I go fulfill Bible prophecy because you know according to what written in scripture, right the scripture tell us that the least of the flock gonna draw America out, you know, in this Third World War destruction, right? So we're very close right now to, you know, the destruction, you know, the society, right? This is Jeremiah 49 and verse 20 say, um, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he had taken against Edom and his purpose that he had purpose against the inhabitants of Timon. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. So these so-called... Um, Jews gonna draw America out, you know, in you know, this third race war destruction, right? Surely he shall make the habitation desolate with them because according to what written in the scripture, right, they're gonna have a nuclear destruction, right? Gonna take place, you know, in the land of America and also in the land of Israel because these Russians known and is known basically in the scripture as Gog. You know, our Magog, they're going to play a very important role, you know, in this coming destruction. So we're very close right now, right? This is um, Ezekiel 38. I'm just jump straight to the point. And verse um, 18 says, And it shall come to pass at the same time when Gog, which is basically Russia today, shall come against the land of Israel. 
So the Russians them also going to come against the land of Israel. Not only America, but also the land of Israel. Right? According to you know, Bible prophecy. Right? That scripture, you know, I speak about. Right? Come against right, the land of Israel. Say it the Lord. Power. Right? That my fury shall come up in my face. For in my jealousy. And in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel. And we're going to basically, you know, cast that great shake if it takes place in the land of Israel. Right? These ICBM missiles, right, going to basically hit the land of Israel because, you know, that land of Israel basically get purged before, you know, we go back in there and go live. So, we're very close right now to a nuclear destruction. Right? So, the closest we ever get, you know, throughout history, you know, to a nuclear, you know, um, fallout. Right? Even closer than going back during the time of the Cuban Missile Crisis. So, we seem to be basically very close to the, the end of the society. Right? But you have certain other prophecies, you know, also, as I mentioned, have come to pass. And the main one, the MOTB, the famine and the word. Right? You name it, these things have happened before this war kick off, but we see that these nations are ready right now to basically go at it. Right? Because, you know, the scripture tells us that the Lord, you know, using the angels, them work on the mind of these leaders because so they really follow them thing. Alright, this is Proverbs 21 and verse 1 say, The king's heart, meaning the king's mind, go back to the Hebrew word lab, which basically means mind, is in the hand of of the Lord as the rivers of waters, he turned it, it with river he will. So the king's heart, I meaning the king's mind is in the hands of the Lord. So the Lord sent the angels them to basically, you know, bring forth you know certain things on the earth. Right? Like you know, working on the minds of these leaders. Right? So even though we have um Netanyahu, right, go back into power now, you know. One of the main one of basically, you know, get rid of Iran all together, so we see all things happening right now. Right, the angels them basically are bring forth you know, the how Bashamir Shai work, you know, and it hurt because you know, seeing how close they're right now to the prophecies them to come to pass. Right? Lisa the flock, which is basically these so called Jews are these Israeli giant America out in this third world war. Right? As I am as I am the video, you know, I mentioned. Right, that Israel is ready to basically attack Iran, whether America is ready or not. Right, they're ready to basically go at Iran right now. Right, of America. This information was distributed to international media directly from General Amiri Hijaz, uh, Hajizadeh, the commander of the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Aerospace Unit, less than 24 hours ago saying that the hypersonic missiles, like their traditional counterparts, can deliver nuclear weapons. They warn that they can fly more than five times the speed of sound. They are completely untouchable, Iran says, by Israeli and American anti-missile capabilities. Open source intelligence information shows that the United States, together with Israel, are moving assets into place. They're doing this to send a message to Iran that will either incapacitate its missile production capabilities or its launching systems, or at least render them useless into the foreseeable future. What we may be looking at here, one intelligence source is quoted as saying, is that Israel may have finally found its red lines crossed by Iran. With the admission of this technology, and rather than handling the offensive using normal chains of operations, Israel is now waiting for the signal to strike, either with or without the United States of America. Exactly. The fact of the matter is, the source continued, that America cannot afford to fight as many fronts as it is, seeing itself managing what it is looking at here in the near future. America cannot fight China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran in the military theater while fighting. And Iran.
Iran in the military theater while fighting a rising Eastern financial domination in the Eastern sector. Revelation 7 and verse 1 says, After these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four wings of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the, sea, on the earth, it's like yeah, nor on the sea, nor on any, any tree. Right, and what is that wind? Right, I can't what written in um, Jeremiah 51. Right, it tells us that, um, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I, have, I will rise up against Babylon, which is America today, and against them that dwell in the midst of them, that's rise up against me a destroying wind, which is that basically nuclear, you know, shock wave, you know, when these ICBM missile worried, you know, it, you know, certain place, you know, you have all that of um that sh um mushroom coat come up, and you have the shock wave, like you know um you always use this mo uh, movie as you know um a reference to explain, I give a basically analogy where we basically uh, speak about um. Terminator 2, Judgment Day with Sierra Connor, you know, that wall of fire, that, that fire will sweep across, you know, destroying everything in its part. Right, that is basically that nuclear wind, right? Talking about that nuclear destroying wind, shock wave, will destroy every single thing, right? So, we're very close right now. So, they are the angels them now. I take it I take them time I release the four at least I release um the four wings as the scripture say because more and more we see how oh, things are happening right now swiftly and speedily right Israel is ready ready now for basically go at Iran which are going basically fulfilled by prophecy but we know that you know you have certain things that have happened before this war kick off full flesh because you know when this war starts there's no stopping so the angels then I take time and release I release you know the the four wings as scripture you know speak about right back to revelation 7 and 1 again say and after these things i saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth all in the four wings of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea nor on the, any tree and i saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living power and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to earth the hurt and the sea, saying, Earth not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their four heads. So we see how close we are right now because things are happening speedily. Right? No Iran is no Israel is ready for attack Iran. You know, over the years you know been waiting for certain moves and making the hurt. No, we've seen everything happen at the same time. Right? Israel is ready now. Right? And it's a very important thing in Bible prophecy. Right? The leaves of the flock. I'll draw them out. So we're very close right now. So he like it's basically almost sealed right now. So scripture say, Earth not the earth, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of Yahweh Hashem in their forehead. So we're very close right now to this destruction. Right? This is um First Thessalonians five and verse one says, But of the times and the seasons virgin, ye have no need that I write unto you, for yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So we understand and we know that. So the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, eh? who now watch? Right, they're gonna catch a lot of people, you know. As a thief in the night. Because no people, as because majority of people are not looking for see these things happening. You know. So these people say we understand and we know. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as prevail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Right? So a lot of our people they're gonna get destroyed in, in this coming nuclear destruction because all these things are happening right now, and a lot of our people they don't have to even hear. Right? They hear about certain things like what take place now, even in the Ukraine. Right? Them, 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 them caught them ears. They don't want to hear these things because according to them, it's negative. But they don't understand and know what they're going to lead to. Right? 
A lot of people ignore these things, yo. Because it sounds scary. But it's a reality. It is a reality of basically what will take place, yo. Right? So, you say, when they shall think of peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come upon them. This is what is basically going to happen to a lot of people. Right? According to the scripture. Right? So, that, I say all praises and honor. And the hour washing me and shy washing me and crash. And this is until the hellers of great men's stone. Shalom to all the brothers in the audience pushing this truth in our sincerity and honesty. Shalom.